Hello and welcome back to Hearts Fight 4 with our England campaign. Hopefully my mic is working correctly again. It might sound a little bit different, a little bit louder, a little bit different balance because I had to actually uh, redo a little bit of work on the mic because the uh, cables were no longer functioning properly. So I replaced the cable, retightened the USB port and with that I hope we've solved the problem. Now with that said, I have the feeling I loaded a normal save game. So that would work. <laughs> Always a great start to my videos. I just saw like, an, hey, hey, do I have five nukes? And I'm still at war with Japan. I thought I fixed that one. Yeah, because uh, we, uh, we last episode we were war we finished the war with Japan and China, and we unified the entirety of China. And I have a very large Qing Empire that is loyal to the me, and that I think is a great thing. Now. We can start, um, I, basically I think I own most of it as puppets, uh, except for several minor exceptions, but most of it is all puppetry. Uh, for me, um, we, yeah, I think we're all in all we're doing pretty good. Uh, like we own part of the Philippines, and apparently this is like divided for some reason, but that's, you know, beside the point. There's still a couple of things we left to do, but um, theoretically we own basically most of the Asian world now. Except for the Dominion of India. So what we're going to do is um, kick them from a faction and start fabricating on them and get that done first. I think that will be a great strike because we're still waiting for most of our tanking jobs anyway. So I might as well spend that time taking down one of our other enemies. Now, looking at these numbers, war in, um, in America is going to be a bit difficult. It's going to be quite, quite the task. And to help me actually radar doesn't work that way anymore but I can just still build one massive radar station in Ohio Ohio however there's uh, I, uh, Intel is still baffling Let's look like how we don't know anything about this is we don't have any forces on the, on the border that may be one of the reasons but uh, yeah it's a bit strange so we get some oil from somewhere so our factories are functioning mildly different uh, I think I can cut down on yours completely. Not entirely. And I run a trade within the faction, so. There we go. And apparently you need to trade a little bit with the Russians. Uh, Portugal will do. Right, now Russia is a puppet of mine, right? Yeah, but Russia did get a little bit bigger. Uh, I didn't want to release like a lot of separate states because um, it's probably going to slow down the game a lot. So this was my concession instead of releasing another uh, two different states here. Um, however, this does look a little bit weird and I might have should have maybe released the one giant Russia, but yeah, that's beside the point. And these guys are existing and independent. That's... Uh, a mistake from them. Anyway, let's uh, yeah, let's get the uh, India campaign rolling. Uh, don't know if they like it, but it's gonna happen nonetheless. Um, I'll just do a quick drive through that. Let's see, if any of these guys are close by? No, we just march through Germany here. It's fine. I'm just gonna set up a little bit of uh, control around some of the. Don't really want to get the necessary stuff conquered. That's sweeping the right side, yeah? Yeah, the points are towards the area you're going. There we go. That should basically do all the tricks. Tibet is, yeah, part of the enemies, but... Okay, so we're going to kick out India. Just going to maybe piss off some people. I'll probably still have a non-aggression pact with them for a while. Yeah, exactly. When does this last? 20th June 2015. It's about a month. So before we can start justifying. Oh, we can already start justifying. Good. So justify immediately. Conquer. Luchistan. <laughs> now I might actually do something that I can bypass the um, justifications. Because that's going to take uh, 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 a crap ton of time. Which I don't think is really uh, anybody want to wait for. Like, hey, yeah, just, 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 you know. Uh, that's exactly what we want. We want to wait uh, for two episodes to for you to fabricate. So this is one of the only one I'm actually gonna fabricate, and after that, I kind of just gonna call it for what it is. 
Um, next up is the United States. And I'm actually not having that many factories anymore. Because I lost a lot of them. So I think I'm going to go back to two. Um, maybe three will do. And we'll just do this. There we go. I'm not making any infantry equipment, but that's fine. Because we don't really need any infantry equipment. I have a lot of it left. Apparently, I do need a little bit more mechanized, which is surprising to me. I do think I have a nice amount of bombers. But one more, as always. Air Force is important. This is all fine. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly... Uh, maybe 25 is the amount we need. There we go. We got some of the 15. Let's get you a 90 factories. That will do. Alright, we'll prepare the rest of it. And yeah, we got some other stuff planned. But uh, I think that's a good amount. Now we need to get control of the navy. So how much ships do you have? You have a lot of ships. We have a navy a, uh, present here. However, I think I want to get this navy strengthened a lot. So what I'm going to do is... Get some modern... So you're a modern dreadnought, which I don't care much about. You're a modern fast battleship. So you got a modern armored cruiser and an advanced armored cruiser. So the advanced can go. Modern cruiser. Modern heavy carrier, that's fine. So the regular carrier can go. Destroyer and submarine. So the fast battleship, apparently it is. And you go to the Western Americas. There you go, and add in another one. Pick up the resources that we need around a little more oil. Steel from the Russians. It's only 11 factories, so it's not that bad. Do this. Just optimize a little bit. Don't trade for what you don't need. Alright. There we go. Great, good. So we're gonna do one fabrication, but the game is running a lot faster already, and uh after that, I'm probably going to do um, allow deploy and just declare the wars that we need. Um, so, yeah. So, India is going to become a hostile environment. As it should be. So, the Tibet thing might be a little bit annoying, but I think we own Bhutan. No, Bhutan is also... Bhutan is still in the faction. Oh, wait, no, 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 never mind. It's a truce... Uh, thing here. I thought for a second it was uh, so it's only Tibet that might become a problem. Um, well, I think a problem is, is a bit of an overrated statement. Hey, you actually managed to get your skill staffer. Cool. Nice. You actually managed to get it before Hobar, which is a little bit surprising, but you might not be able to get it due to the... Uh, no, no, you should be able to get it. So I need about six t more tanks. Oh yeah, and I'm, we're training a lot of them. We're, uh, I've got a, f a full two new divisions stacked up here. And uh, yeah, we... Uh, that's also the reason probably why I need more mechanized, but... Uh, the only thing we're missing is a couple of tank destroyers, which is uh, not that bad when you consider it. Okay, a little, little bit more steel. Prussian steel is apparently in popular demand. Why is it not going to us, though? Uh, trade influence is actually our trade influence is not the highest, even though, huh, even though we are their masters. Strange, but okay. So yeah, we're gonna go just get the Dominion of India done. After that, we can just uh, release a singular, fully loyal India, and after that, we'll just head head off to America. I think India is just a quick and easy target to just walk over. Said he, well, they have about 100 and something forces. They hate us because they claimed our territory. Well, I don't care. And I mean, it's just okay. Don't be done. Oh, wow. You, when are you done? 150 days. So you're actually slower than we are. So we'll strike before they can. Right. India has good fighting territory for tanks. At least some of it is. The northern areas here, this is all. Uh, 
beautiful uh, farmland, that kind of stuff. Uh, there is some... I think most of the territory that we have to f actually fight in is good territory. So... You're arriving, you're arriving. You are still stuck where you are. That's not really what I had in mind. No, do I? The Australasian offer. Uh, the Australian government is contacted an offer. Now we have to be restored to the lands to, in our name. It ends it rightfully ours to take back. So considering that Australia gets capable, blah, blah, blah. Salomon's Island, Nusulas, and Navodo. These are, I think, some of the islands over here. What the? That's a Susilis Isilind. Is that the one? Salomon. Salomon. Did I write that? Salomon. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Salomon. Uh. I actually like the political part of it, get me? Uh, we are the keepers of the colonies. But we will come to control or get the event, the lands are returned. The Soviet government's contents will offer. Now that we have been restored, the lands they took in our name through the Anderson Doctrine are rightfully ours to take back. So they say, considering that the Australians and Confederates could expect a great deal of blood and effort to get them, however, perhaps it's worth recognizing that they more. So we can get some land back, or we give it to them. Now, as it is a World Conquest game, normally, I, personally, I would say, yeah, take it, you know, this is all cool and I'm fine. But the fact that they're giving us land, for me, means like, yeah, I want it back. Thank you very much, though. Uh, are they, how pissed are they? They don't mind. They really like it. Well, not entirely, maybe, but uh, it's it's fine for now. We have a uh, bit of a chromium problem all of a sudden. What the hell happened? Uh, have we gained like a lot of naval factors for some reason? We just started eating chromium for breakfast, so did we just lose all... What is using so much chromium? We need 200, 700 and something chromium. Hundred, 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 three hundred fifty-six. Never realized you need so much, needed so much chromium, but we'll take it. Um, uh, I think we just lost. This might have been their chromium source. Let's take a look at the uh, resource map mode. Yeah. This was a large part of their chromium income. So that trade now ceases to exist, so that's fine. That's all fine and handy. There's uh, still some ha shit happening. I think that's because of the rele uh, releasing of some nations, but it should start speeding up more and more and more, because they cannot build these giant armies. However, China should be, uh, or Qing for that matter, should be rebuilding at some point. Uh, can I influence these? Yeah, I can. Cool. Uh, apparently they are mine. <laughs> that explains a lot more why I could influence them. Alright, um... This is all my personal Air Force, right? Uh, some of it isn't, though. This all is not. This is a, uh, a fleet of ours. Wait, there's a secondary fleet here. This must be... Oh, wait, yeah, we have a... Okay, you can go around India. And... Submarines can also go around India. There we go. Um... Ready! Did I not give you the... 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 the bleh, there you go, just get them here. Uh, just get them, please. Go. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Supporting the Dominion of India through a lint lease. Okay. Sure. Deutsches Middle Africa gets the Neue Volkeschau arrives in London. 
A German colony of Middle Africa claimed ethnological exhibition has come to London. For years, such a showing would have been impossible under the rigid dogma of socialism. But now, once again, the British public can enjoy the benefits of science and civiliz uh, civilizing mission. Well, none, can, none doubt the show was splendid. It raised some concern about the current state of the empire or the lack thereof. So the Deutsches Middle Africa gets a event, but I don't think they exist, so no real worries over there. Solidify control, we can get to five more points. Slowly our party popularity is, is arising, so we may be able to get that up, maybe up to that 50% by the end of uh, the series. <laughs> but that's fine, that's totally fine. Your priority is a lot lower than when the guys that go to war. Still a shame these to do the block like the block centurions, but hey, you can't get it all. So yeah, we uh, did release like a massive China. That actually was a bit of a bit of a funky thing. So what you do, you release one, and then you start just adding in all the other territories slowly over time. So that was actually quite. Uh, a, uh, it also took like 20 minutes just to release all the stuff because the game kept locking up. It is uh, just like it does now. There we go. Yeah, but I'm kind of wondering because there's these there's these all these small pieces everywhere. If we take over India, what it's gonna be? I don't think I'm gonna call in everybody. Just do this uh, real quick and solo. I just don't think it's gonna be too much of an effort to just take everything. Um, and, oh, that, that was my phone, and it's pretty much hitting the table. Let's just move it real fast for a second, there we go, so, I don't hear it when it's buzzing. Do, 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 do. I need to keep it a little bit on, a, on an eye on it. Because of reasons. But I don't think it's going to be that important. Right. It isn't. But it might be an important message coming in today. I don't want to keep an eye on it. Make a long story short. My sister uh, was supposed to give birth two days ago? Three days ago? So, yeah. And when this goes live, it's been a couple of days ago at least. So, yeah, we're kind of all waiting patiently for her to get her second child. Yeah, I'm old. <laughs> Uh, let's see... Yep. There are... If you look at the Air Force... Wait, so I was working on that. Uh, it's all jets, and we have quite a bit of rocket wings in Singapore. Uh, can I just dismantle... The problem is, if I... I can, I can delete these, right? They shouldn't be produced from friendly things. I cannot really get rid of them otherwise. So what I can do, I think, is go to the state, dismantle the rocket silo, put in a proper factory. There we go. Now these rockets will probably enter in this one. And they will just be dropped on top. I don't think I own this one. No, I don't. I cannot do this. Unassigned divisions. Oh, that's the Marine. That's fine. You can join in these uh, guys on the uh, border here. Right. Ready. All of you. Come on, can I? You guys to be a little bit less annoying. Oh, just regular executions here as well. But yeah, I'm not gonna do the endless justifications because that's gonna take for fucking ever. Next target is gonna be the American Empire. Um, we're gonna put infantry over here. Let them push slightly more this line. Get our tanks to take care of the uh, middle and the uh, airs around here because I think well, they will be able to punch through the easiest. Um. Mexico has 
not that many forces. The Dominion Commonwealth of Canada has more, but it's scraping the barrel. The US is actually. I don't I don't like it how why the AI does that. Just 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 starts scraping the barrel for no reason. And we have Russia on our side, so we have enough troops, manpower, and everything, and, and then we own China. You know, we have 7.3 million manpower that we can pull from here if necessary. Okay, India actually managed to finish uh, Nope, they didn't. Alright, uh, conquer. Go and go, go, go. Everything is a go, and India will die. There's wins. Oh, right, I have some Air Force business. Um. This is all my friendly Air Force, so... Or the uh, usage Air Force set if I need them. Or whatever it is, leave in yet. Put Tibet in, that's fine as it should be. Are we flying over? I... This probably... I don't know why this takes so long, but I think it has to do with the fact that there's also crew that needs to be transferred, but it shouldn't take that long to fly over these aircraft. It takes them several days to get over there. I mean, these aircraft should be able to fly this distance in much less than a day. Alright, there are more person fighting wings. I think the rest of it is all always assigned. Mm, yeah, these are assigned to the Yellow Army. But they're not joining in in the fight. Hmm, well, whatever. Whatever. Very quick. Listen up! Listen up. There we go. My forces are actually making this. Listen up. I don't know why it is, but it is sure as hell lovely that they don't really struggle taking this over. Even my infantry is doing well, so you know. Yeah, my marines are uh, kicking their ass. What is the vision shaped up? Can I see that? The defense is good, but their offense is pretty damn weak. Just not that good, I think. I was expecting better. They're using anti tank guns. That's that's about the worst to bring to the table. Okay. Um, guys to uh, follow through on this one so muscat where the fuck is that uh, oh over here okay uh Rebi, you are one of my puppets and you have an army yeah just to pull you in Do the job for me. They do. Good. So the Arabian infantry immediately attacked. Let's get shit rolling. Tibet has surrendered. Not that surprising, all things considered. Ah, now everybody else is starting to join in. Right, should never call in. Not even. Attention. Attention. Seems we're already managed to get through the uh, majority of the uh, Indian forces. Ready, sir. Let's drive to Delhi. Should we up, I guess? No, I don't think so. They have uh, they have slightly more resistance than I anticipated. Well, providing slightly more resistance. Anticipated. Uh, Calcutta is probably something we should take Listen as well. Uh, so. Uh, Listen up. Probably should draw this as a better battle line, considering the uh, where the, uh, the you know yeah, this will do better. Let's go. 
Jesus fucking Christ, somebody just nuked Daka. Like, no chill. Ready. Uh, you just drive to Daka. You drive to Kokoda. That's like the biggest two points that we need to actually take there. I think we have. Yeah, so that's a lot of points taken. And there's Lahore here. Ready, sir. Let's take that as well. Might be that it doesn't consider these um, actual victory points because they are not natively part of the uh, Bahada Majo commune. Um, so I don't know if they consider this core territory, especially because this is also historically not core Indian territory. Um, it is not considered core territory. At least not by India. Uh, it's by the Maharaja commune. By Bengal states. Well, we'll I guess we need to capture Lahore then. And it should be India. That is India. Good. So India, take the states, and the turn. Cannot take all states. That's a little bit annoying. There you go. Done. I'm surprised that Tibet was not up for grabs. Of course, you get a peace deal with Tibet soon. Might be separate though. It's about already it's capitulated, and there's Muscat. Um, you guys, you can probably safely travel over and then just do the deal here. There we go, that's the Tibet deal. There'll be about 30 days of um, work ahead of us. Um. It's probably going to be get, uh, what we're looking at is a little couple of factories we've gained. I'm just going to uh, end the wars and then do all the releasing off screen. Ready to move. Uh, you could just go, uh, all of you, Order. by the way. That's just real easy. Travel here to this port. And just travel overseas, man. Jeez. Sometimes the AI is just a little bit too. Uh, I get why they're one and they don't want to go overseas. On the other hand, you're like, yeah, but you know. This is an obvious one, please do it. Oh wow, we're good on vehicles. Jesus Christ, we produce a lot of shit. Holy mother of God. Yeah, that's one way to do things. Holy shit, man. Just nuke a miner that cannot do anything to resist it. Holy shit, man. That's a little bit excessive, if you ask me. I've nuked Japan to the Stone Age. Oh, come on, it's just one militia. You don't... S somebody is aggressively nuking. It's not me. It's not me. It's probably France. So I think France is the only other country that has the likelihood of having nu nukes and is in our faction. Yes, so, yeah. That's um, terrible. But at least if we attack France, they will not be nuking us. Okay, so... And then I'm actually going to end the episode, I'm going to do a little bit of releasing of countries, Ceylon, India, and Tibet. So, yeah, with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.